What is up guys, it's Heartless Gaming here coming with you to my very first Atlas video. Today I'm just going to be giving you like my top 10 tips pretty much and kind of like partly a review of about the game. Um, mainly my focus is on the tips but I'm just going to give a little background. Those who don't know what Atlas is, basically it's like Arch of All the Evolved but in my opinion I believe it's better. It gives you more of a challenge and there's more to do per se in the game. Um, and as well as like there's just like stuff like building boats versus you know you could just build pretty much like houses not houses like bases in our survival evolve you can build bases and boats and there's more exploration exploration the bigger maps more people per server and stuff like that so just that's a little bit synopsis on it just a quick summary of the game but pretty much uh, hopefully you'll get from this video just some quick tips on it and maybe you'll see some things that i didn't hear you might ask in the comment section oh, hey how do you do that or what this is so we're going to get started here. So the first thing that you need to know is understand how taming works. So basically it's a lot different than Arshalali Evolve and tip one and two are kind of interactive with each other here. So basically it's different because you, you need a skill tree basically to tame in this game. Anything big or really anything in general. And this actually will go into a third tip as well later in the video I'll probably bring back. Um, but you need like... It's like Breedmaster, th Breedmaster or something like that. And pretty much in the skill trees itself, you have a set of skills that you need to unlock. And then within those set of skills, they have multiple levels of skills in them um, that you need to unlock. So basically, you need that one and you need like different taming levels of three and you need to do so many things. And this is kind of where like leveling up comes into play here on what you can do. And so you can only tame certain things if you have the certain skill trees unlocked. And there's no kibble either. So you have stuff like honey for bears and like turnips for like certain tames. Prime meat. You do have like prime meat and fish meat and stuff like that. Uh, berries and stuff like that. It's a lot different. Also for like tames like a bear for instance. When I was taming the bear. You need to build a trap for the bear. Um, and pretty much for any tames that want to kill you. Um, this is right here was I was talking about the skill trees. You need the survival. Under the survivalist. You need to buy certain skill tree points. To unlock all the other trees you see next to the survivalist one at the top. Um, and that's what I was talking about that. Uh, sorry to get off track here. Um, but you need a taming pen. And once you do that, you actually have to get the, like said, the bear, for instance, down to below 20% health before you can actually bolo it. So you, you need to like damage it and almost kill it. However, you got to re keep repeating the step. And you might say, oh, hey, how do you repeat the step? You know, you might kill it. Well, it does regain its health back as you tame it. Uh, so you do want stuff offhand though. You want to make sure you have everything you need, uh, I, like, I usually, if it says 10 to 15 bullets, I usually carry, like, 25, just in case you never know what happens. Um, I would put a bend extra taming pen as well, because stuff like bears and stuff, they can still not eat you, I guess you could say, when you're taming them. And you gotta walk up through their mouth, so you gotta kinda, like, not sprint up to them, you gotta, like, crouch, cr crouch, cr uh, prone down to them, and pretty much, like, eat them or crouch down, um, to feed them and stuff like that. So keep that in mind when you're taming. And I talked about how there's no kibbles. Um, and your affertility, that makes a difference. There's actually, in within the skill tree, of the, the breeding skill, something called affertility. Basically, that's like, it takes less food, and you quick, you're quick quicker at taming stuff. It goes in intervals of 15%. And there's also a challenge, I believe. I'm not sure how that interacts with this affertility, but it's like killing a whale, a sperm whale or something, gives you like 30% more affertility. I believe that's how I'm, I might be pronouncing it wrong, but it starts with an A and an F or something like that, so I could be saying it completely wrong here. Um, but that's just kind of something that, to keep in mind when you are taming stuff, I would definitely, um, at the beginning of the, the stage of the game, I would definitely get that. Uh, done. Uh, my tip number three here is playing with friends. You absolutely in this game, it's not no six man, Arch Evolve Evolve, small tribe servers, boosted rates all the time kind of thing. You need people in this game. We're on this island by ourselves and it's fucking massive. Pardon my language, but it is. And this map itself, like the servers, it seems like within the server, you play on the whole map, um, even though the server says like 150. And that's what I'm kind of understanding in the game. I'm still not 100%. Because I've only been playing the game for about a week now. But this is just kind of what I'm gathering at. And these are kind of my tips. But playing with friends is absolutely critical. Kind of because it has to partly do, again, with the skill tree. Like, certain people should be builders. Certain people should be the farmer and cropper. Certain people should be the breeders. Certain people should only build ships. And stuff like that. So keep that in mind as well when that comes to that. Um, tip number four is take time to read the skill tree and challenges. This is absolutely going to enhance your gameplay and understand, like, who's going to do what. 
who in your tribe that you know is better at breeding and taming and who who do you know is better at building and grinding or fishing and farming um pvp stuff like that because uh, that all becomes a play there's some skill trees that like you would never think of do in arc like there's like piracy and stuff like that that is a skill tree and it's actually really cool so take some time to read out like everything to enhance your knowledge of the game and that'll help you with like exploration and stuff like that with some of the challenges uh, and some of the benefits of challenges as well. Like one of them, I believe, is like when you're over encumbered, it's like run 250 percent or something like that. So just keep that in mind when you're like reading that. Like that's the last. That's like the last uh, skill tree at the top there. Uh, that's just something to keep in mind there. Um, find my tip number five here is find a place that's beneficial to build. You want to find a place that has a lot of stuff you can kill or tame that's going to be useful at the beginning of the game. Stuff that there's going to be a lot of resources of. There's going to be food. There's going to be water nearby and stuff like that. You can dig for like a water spout to get water to drink, but that's not always the best option that you want to do. Um, you want to find an area that you can have your boats on that's maybe possibly enclosed like a bay of some sort and stuff like that. Um, and just keep that in mind as well. So just find a beneficial location for you and have people in your crew that you can trust is tip number six. Uh, find people for your crew. Uh, it's not called a tribe, it's called a crew. I learned that today, that it's called a crew, not a tribe. So, I mean, I'm still going to call it a tribe, but that's what it's called. It's called a crew, your crew. Who on your crew do you want? Who do your crew do you trust? I mean, it's like ARC. Like, you can set build rankings and just try out random people. That Like, that's a thing, too, that you could do as well. Um, so, uh, just to go off track here, what I'm doing here is we're killing a ghost ship. Basically, what that is, it gives you NPCs, gold, and, like, some other stuff too. You kind of find them while you're venturing out in the sea and they look like this. They have a glowing mist. They do shoot back at you. So have plenty of cannonballs and just be careful that your stuff doesn't get destroyed. And sorry about that. We'll do another video of that later of how to find one and stuff like that. But I just want to throw it out there if you're wondering what that was. Uh, back to tip number seven. Uh, have people level up different skill trees. We talked about this early in the video. So I'm going to just kind of briefly go over it again. Um, again, so you want people like that are ship builders to build your ship. Because they're going to, you need to just like spread out. There's so many skill trees and not enough skill points for your level that you're going to be able to do it all. Uh, I know if you get to like level 90, there's a place you can go to rejuvenate yourself. I'm not sure what the benefits are of that. I believe it might give you more skill points. But again, I'm not 100% on that. As again, I've just started the game and I'm only like level 30 or like level like 20 in the game and like age of 34 or something in the game. So I'm not nowhere near level 90 and can't explore to do that yet so just keep that in mind understand how the skill tree works and pick what's best for you and you got to really talk it out with your uh, your tr your crewmates or tribe mates and just think oh hey they, you know this is better for us than this or uh etc and just you can reset your skill points to every level you have that option as well that you can do so if you don't like something and change it you know if you want to build today build all your stuff and then don't level up and then you know, you want to wipe and reset, there you level up, you know, you just do that too. Um, tip number eight, best way to level up. The best way to level up is, one, by doing, like, what I'm doing here, just killing stuff. Um, previously seen the video, you saw me killing an alpha bear. Uh, alphas are everywhere it's on the island that we're on. We have alpha chickens, alpha wild hogs, alpha bears, alpha horses, alpha... I want to say the crows, black crows or something, or seagulls. So you have alpha of pretty much most of the dinos and the dinos tames in the game. Sorry, animals, prehistoric animals, I guess, tames, animals, dinosaurs, I don't know. Uh, stuff like that. So there's that kind of stuff. To That's pretty much the better, best way to level up is just to kill alphas. And some of them, like, I killed, like, a 287 alpha chicken like that, that's out there. So killing alphas is probably, in my opinion, the earliest... And best way to level up. Obviously, building stuff is a great way to level up as well. And doing stuff like this, going on adventures and trying to break into boats and stuff of this nature, like this ghost ship here. So that's just kind of my thing. Uh, breeding. Breeding is, from my understanding of the game, is different than ARC. Because you have to be in a certain biome to breed your dinosaurs. Your dinosaurs. Sorry, guys. Tames. Um, you have to be in a certain location to breed your teams and for them to like hatch or be born so you have to be in like a tropical region maybe for like i don't know a bear and like the snowy desert the snowy region for like a penguin uh so that's just kind of like keep that stuff in mind when you're breeding like you should probably have a breeding boat 
which will get into my tip number 10 and the very last tip before we wrap things up here is you need to get a boat. You need to get a boat because that's how you're going to travel from island to island. And one of your first people in your crew probably should get this. It's like shipmate or something like that. So you can build boats, put cannons and such on them um, and get that to do those things rolling. There's a treasure chest that holds like un, like a lot of resources, and it's probably going to be reduced, but it's like almost unlimited resources and like no weight. Like it's ridiculous how it is, <laughs> but it, it's a big weight reduction. It's everything stacks in fifty thousands. Like your person is like maybe a thousand for like fiber, but in there it's like fifty thousand or something like that. It holds per slot. And tip for that one, you can actually put them in your building right now, so just keep that in mind. Um, but that's just some of the. This stuff you do need a boat the boat is going to enhance your gameplay tremendously just like understanding how the skill tree works and stuff like that if you notice the skill tree is obviously a big emphasis because it has everything to do with your gameplay and how you do things what you do next there are some challenges in the game and that's really going to enhance your challenges to the game itself um and i you know i believe this, this game is it's a good game uh i like the game i think it's better and this is kind of where my opinion comes in to get more of a review now Tips are pretty much done at that point. Uh, I think it's better than Ark Survival Evolved. I think it might be as big, if not bigger, than Ark Survival Evolved. Um, you have 150 people per server. It runs way smoother than when Ark Survival Evolved came out tremendously. Right now, there's some issues getting to some of your servers. Usually, just resetting your Xbox or resetting the game usually fixes those. I know joining a party while trying to join a server sometimes doesn't work. So, my tip for that is just don't join the party until you're in your server. And, I mean, that's... You know, that's my biggest thing is, like, the, the game is, overall, the graphics are pretty good. It's what I would expect them to be and such. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, right here, at the end here, I just, I'm glad I actually, at getting to the end of the video, and it's right here. This is what I was talking about. This is some of the stuff that you could see out of a ghost ship, as I previously talked about earlier, if you stayed for the video. I want to thank you for that. Got some gold coins, some, like, BPs and stuff like that. You can get out of them, NPCs, yet you can pretty much tame and they're yours, and you gotta pay gold for them. That's just some of the stuff you can get out of this. But again, guys, thank you guys for so much for watching. I'm glad you guys continued and stayed through this video. Go ahead, drop a like and subscribe. That'd be really appreciated. Let me know what you think about the game in the comments section below. I'd love to hear your feedback as well as go ahead and check out my Twitch channel because that is where I have been live streaming lately. Go ahead and follow Instagram and Twitter to stay up with the most latest, latest content and when I post stuff and such. So again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. I'm out of here. See you later. Bye.